Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another vlog. So this is going to be a few days in my life. Today we're actually headed downtown for my first content creator, YouTube influencer type event. Um, I hate the word influencer, but my first event since COVID, I'm very excited. So that's what's happening today. We're heading downtown to go do that and then probably study with Alan on campus for a little bit after. This morning, my Princess Polly package just arrived. This video is in partner with Princess Polly. You guys know I literally love them. So big thank you to Princess Polly for partnering with me on today's video. Just a reminder that Princess Polly offers afterpay to all of their shoppers in the United States as well as ships within the US and there's free express shipping to the US on all orders over $50 but let's get into the little unboxing and fall Princess Polly haul. I'm very, very excited because I got a bunch of fall pieces. So I'm excited to try them on and show you guys. Also, I love this for Princess Polly that they have these compostable dirt bags. Like how amazing is that, that they come in compostable bags now? Okay, so first things first, let's start with the Princess Polly accessories that I got because they're always so cute. So I got this little brown, croc style embossed purse it's pita and jane i literally have the exact same one in white but we are having a brown outfit brown fall because i'm just obsessed with brown right now and brown colored outfits so first we have this cutie little purse i also grabbed these stunning brown matching sandals so they are literally the same color as the purse which i love and I know it's going to be getting cold in Toronto soon, but like while it's still 20 degrees out, I can pull off sandals and these are just so stunning. Like, look at them. Oh, I love that they have this little platform. So cute. Also got two sweater dresses because I literally am just obsessed with sweaters and cable knit sweater dresses for the fall. So the first one is this cable knit turtleneck brown sweater dress. It's got a little bit of these puff sleeves and it's literally the perfect length. And I'm tall too, like I'm 5'9 and this is such a beautiful length on me. And then I also got this baby blue cable knit mock neck sweater dress. Now this one I might have to wear like a skirt or a pair of shorts or something with it just in case because it is a little bit shorter on me, but it's still so stunning. I love the color and the pattern and it's just, oh, I'm so excited to wear it. I also picked up two brown kind of funky 70s style pattern colored tops. The first one is this kind of swirly multicolored brown. I think it's so pretty. It's just like this little crop top with the collar and it's fitted and I just literally am so obsessed and in love with it. The second one is this mesh see-through brown top and it's got this funky pattern as well but I think it would be so so cute with like a little pair of black trousers and a little black like lacy bralette like I can already see the outfit it would be so so cute and I'm so excited to wear that. Next it would not be fall without a little matching blazer set so I picked up this little cropped black blazer from Princess Polly. I am so obsessed with the little button detailing on the sleeve as well as it has these shoulder pads on the inside so it makes it a little bit more boxy and structured but it's honestly the perfect little cropped blazer. And then I just got this little black mini skirt to match so it's got a little slit at the side and I find that this mini skirt is literally the perfect length. Again, I'm someone who's fairly tall and I don't like my mini skirts super, super short. It's just not comfortable for me personally to walk around in that and it just, I like feeling a little bit more secure in my skirts. So this one I think is a pretty good length for me and I love the little, like I said, the little slit detailing and it goes so perfectly with the little cropped blazer. Next, I picked up the perfect, absolute perfect pair of brown trousers for the fall. They fit absolutely amazing, perfect on the waist, perfect length. I love the wide flare and they're so comfy as well and the perfect shade of brown, like just look at them. So I'm very obsessed with them and I am so excited, like I was saying earlier, to just style so many fall brown outfits. And last but certainly not least, I picked up this oversized biker style leather jacket. I had been looking for and wanting an oversized leather jacket to wear with like the sweater dress, pair with like a high, almost knee leather booty. 
and this is so perfect so I got it in a medium large like I said I want it to be really long really oversized and it is so stunning I love the long zipper that goes all the way down the front so you can wear it full clothes like a jacket or wear it just over top of like a dress still as a jacket but like more as like an accessory jacket if you know what I mean um, but it is literally stunning so a big thank you again to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video you guys can go use my code Vanessa X 20 for 20% 20 off I'll have all of the items that I picked out linked in the description box below and you guys can shop them definitely pick up some fall either staple or statement pieces because Princess Polly literally has everything and you guys know that I love them okay so we are actually heading out to a PR event this morning so of course I'm wearing one of my new outfits I'm gonna wear the blue sweater dress that I just got from Princess Polly as well as the leather jacket I already love them together so this is the outfit situation. I'm just gonna finish up my makeup, do my hair, and then we are heading out. It's at Stacked Market, and I've only ever been to Stacked Market once before, so I'm excited. It's like a little nail and lashes event. So this is my first PR event since COVID, and I'm really excited to bring you guys along and just go and enjoy the event. You guys, I just used this duo as the base of my makeup. So the Becca 24 Hour Foundation and the YSL I'm gonna butcher this so badly, Touche Eclat. Um, it's like a finishing powder. I'm stunned, my base is literally flawless. Um, like, hello, who is she? I'm so happy with how that turned out, so I just wanted to share that quickly with you guys. But um, hair is done, makeup is done, and we are ready to go. And here is the full put together look. Let's head out. goodie bag to go. I'll show you guys everything that's in it when I get home, but currently heading to go meet up with Alan just to study on campus for a little bit before heading home. morning good morning it is Sunday so I didn't vlog Friday or Saturday just because it was pretty busy so Friday I actually had a chem quiz so I just didn't really want to vlog that I wanted to prep and like get that done get that situated and out of the way and then Alan came over and we just relaxed and watched a movie for the evening and then yesterday Saturday I was just a little bit all over the place I did a lot of studying I had a lot of lectures to catch up on I actually have some midterms starting next week so this weekend's been a pretty busy heavy study weekend but I actually woke up pretty early this morning and I've just been having a nice slow Sunday morning it's currently 8 30 so I'm gonna finally go make breakfast make a matcha um church starts at 10 I believe I still am doing online yeah this morning like I said it's just been slow I did my journaling and I've also been reading uh, I haven't given you guys a book update in a hot minute so I finished I don't think I ever told you guys so I 
I fully, um, I started and finished reading A Court of Silver Flames. It was amazing. I hate Nesta. Nesta? That sounds okay. It sounds so much better in my head and saying her name actually out loud. I hate her as a character and that book is about Nesta and I loved the book so much. Like I hated her to start out and I loved her by the end. But anyways, right now I'm reading Throne of Glass, so Sarah J. Ma's other series. You guys told me to start reading this and I had the first book at home, so we are starting this. Well, not starting it. I'm like 120 pages in. It's been taking me a hot minute to read because of school and classes and stuff. But this is the current read. This is what I'm reading right now. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it so far because this is her like debut. And so the writing style is very different from A Court of Thorn and Roses and there's just a lot of punctuation like a lot of unnecessary exclamation marks and stuff so i don't know i mean like it's interesting it's okay i don't hate it but i definitely don't love it so far as much as i do the court of thorn and rosa series um but today the plan is just studying probably go for a workout i'm thinking i'm gonna go to whole foods and like see how much pumpkin stuff I can make oh another thing so I made pumpkin zucchini muffins last night um I really should have vlogged that but I didn't I'm sorry guys I literally have just been so exhausted with studying and like I just made muffins for myself last night as like my little self treat but it is a beautiful day outside I see the sun up there peeking through so we are gonna go make breakfast. That was my little catch-up chat to let you guys know everything that has been going on the last few days um, and kind of why I didn't vlog the last few days, why this vlog skipped from Thursday to Sunday. Um, but yeah, let's go make breakfast. I think I'm gonna have oatmeal because I'm gonna go to the gym and do a leg workout. So we're gonna go make oatmeal and matcha. So here's a little bumpy outfit of the day. Okay, so these are the little pumpkin zucchini muffins that I made. They also have pumpkin seeds as well as some chocolate chips in them because I didn't have raisins. I know raisins would have went better, um, but I think I'm gonna freeze them so that they stay around for a little bit longer. I will pop the recipe on the screen so if you guys want to make them it's there so good i'm actually i'm gonna have one this morning before i pop them in the freezer We just finished up shopping at Whole Foods. They didn't have as much pumpkin stuff as I anticipated, but we got a few things. So I'll do a little grocery haul when we get home because I do have some frozen stuff. So I want to get home so I can get it in the freezer. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head home. I'll do the little haul, probably just study for the rest of the day. All right, so here's the little stash that I picked up. Firstly, we got some orange cherry tomatoes to go with the season. I picked up this bio raw salad because it was a little bit of a busy day. So I figured pick up lunch today. I got almonds, the Yves veggie ground. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you know that I love this stuff. Literally so much protein and way cheaper than meat. So sometimes I pick this up and it's really good. I got this fig goat cheese spread because um, it looked really good and it just looked really good. <laughs> and then I picked up this Two Bears iced coffee cold brew blend. It was on sale, so I wanted to give it a try. I've seen a few people try it, so I thought I'd pick it up. A can of pumpkin puree, a can of pumpkin gelato. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. And then we got a red pepper tomato soup. We got decaf pumpkin spice tea because I figured 
first of all, I don't have any pumpkin spice tea, but a decaf one is nice because I can drink it in the evenings while I'm studying. And then I got this raisin, rosemary, and pumpkin seed crackers to go with the goat's cheese. You told people that you broke me And maybe you did And maybe you did But I'm not over it How the hell do I get over this? You said you made a mistake Then you walked away But when you have my hand Under the vintage sun I knew it wouldn't last I knew it'd come undone This is over I feel a little colder You shut me down You shut me down But this is all just irrelevant Trying to find a way to remember this. All right, babes. So to end off this vlog, we're doing a little slumber party style Q and A. We're gonna drink my tea and do a little Q and A. I asked you guys on the community tab to just give me a few cues to answer in a vlog. I will do probably a full Q and A video at some point, but for now, we're just gonna do. Some of these questions that you guys asked me i honestly got this question a lot and it was how do you manage your youtube studies business social life and mental health all of it the biggest thing to managing so many things is time management being able to time block block out times to do certain things and then literally just sitting down and getting the ish done i know we all have days where we procrastinate and where we put things off but the biggest thing to managing everything is limiting that limiting your screen time i typically only have about three and a half to four hours of screen time on my phone at least when i'm in classes weekends it's more like four and a half but still like pretty low like i know some people that have like eight hours of screen time so it's like in that four hours you could have been doing a lot of other stuff so that is my biggest thing is just being able to time management plan and like plan ahead but not so far ahead that you get overwhelmed what's your advice for younger people who think they have to do a million things in order to be successful i am one of them i am still a young person that thinks they have to do xyz and abc and one two three in order to feel like you've accomplished something and that's just not true you have to be happy where you are in the moment proud that you're working towards something and proud of where you've come from and what you've done. I think when it comes to thinking that you have to do so many things is seeing other people on social media doing so many things. Like I'm 20 and I forget sometimes that I've already accomplished so much in my life and so many things that I want to do but at the same time I see other people my age, people that are 20, almost 21 or 21 or even younger, 19, 18, that have accomplished so much more than me and that's great for them they're on their own path they're on their own journey that's not me and while maybe i have goals and things that i want to accomplish for myself like things that they've already accomplished i have to remind myself that that's not my path that that's their path 
I'm on my own path and if it takes me another five years, if it takes me another five months, I will get there if I'm working towards something. I think just setting yourself up for these timelines that you think you have to achieve certain things and you think you have to do everything is honestly setting yourself up for failure in the sense that like yes it's good to be working towards something if you're constantly striving for more striving for more striving for more you're never going to be happy with, with with what you've already accomplished so like yes it's always good to grow and strive for more but once you've accomplished something once you've achieved something take some time to reflect on that and look how far you've come um how would you describe uft what do you plan on doing in the future so i talked a little bit about this in my first day of classes i'm not sure if it's med school i'm not sure if it's my master's in physical therapy uh, my mspt or M msc mspt i think is what it is masters of physical therapy it's like masters of science physical therapy um i think that's what i'm leaning more towards right now rather than the md route maybe if i decide after i do my masters that i want to go to med school i'll do the md route after that um honestly i'm just taking it slow right now kind of seeing where life takes me i would love for cerise dawn my brand to take off and that become a full-time thing i love doing youtube i love doing social media but i still do love the science stream and like what i'm in school for so honestly I don't really know to give you a straight answer what I want to do in the future. There's lots of things that I would love to do. In terms of UFT, a lot of people say it's really, really hard and stressful. I love my program. I love what I'm studying. I find it really interesting. Um, profs are like 50-50. Sometimes you can get a really good one. Sometimes you can get a really bad one. Personally, I actually like the older profs, the profs that have been around for a while because they know what they're doing and they teach really well. Um, I've had some younger profs that like it's so hard to follow their lectures and it's like what are you teaching but like overall the school is great I love the campuses I love the atmosphere um, I've met some really amazing people at school yeah overall we're doing good <laughs> someone asked me if I'm a personal trainer yes I am um, if so did you do a course to become certified did you do it before university yes I actually got certified literally like two days before I started my first year of university I took the CPT exam it was like September 5th or something and I started classes on the 8th when I was 18 so I got my personal trainers as soon as I could when I turned 18 I did the course over the summer um, I am certified with NASM there's lots of personal trainer courses out there there's ace there's I know there's lots and I just can't think of them right now but I did lots of research in terms of like which course and which program I wanted to go with NASM is the most widely recognized one um, and like world widely recognized I think so that's the one that I went with what do you pri prioritize the most in your healthy diet um, balance and greens I love making sure that I'm getting in my spinach my kale like all the greens and veggies because they just make everything flow better if you know what I mean and then um, just balance making sure that I'm getting enough veggies proteins making sure I'm getting enough carbs making sure I'm getting enough healthy fats making sure I'm eating enough protein in order to meet my goals so whether that's just muscle maintenance or muscle growth um, right now we're just kind of on a maintenance and just making sure everything is like evenly balanced and making sure I'm getting enough nutri nutri nutrients in. There we go. Those are the words. Okay, do I keep my previous year's planners? No, typically I throw them out. <laughs> um, I'll keep my like previous years for maybe a few months. Like so right now I still have my 2020-2021 planner in my office, but I'll be chucking it soon. I don't see any reason why to keep them. Unless it was like a journal planner that's a little bit different. Um, but like just a calendar planner with to do's and like due dates and stuff or like events. I yeah, check that favorite books that I've read. I love, love, love the Court of Thorn and Roses series. I love the selection series. Mind you, I read that back when it came out. So I was like 12, 13, 14, 15. I definitely want to reread those books. I love Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I like the Cinder series, mind you, I don't remember them very well, but I remember enjoying reading them. Yeah, I think those are my- oh, I also love Eleanor and Park and Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I really liked- I'm gonna be a little like- not- what's the word I'm looking for? basic. I'm gonna be a little basic here. I loved The Fault in Our Stars when it came out. I read it before I watched the movie. I read that book like 
four or five times like I love that book it was at the time like so like 2015 2016 I can't really remember but I literally like I loved it at the time so that's all that I can think of right now um, I have a big TBR right now and I'm so happy that I finally got back into reading this summer because it literally just makes me so happy to be able to read again. Who or what is your fashion inspiration? Ooh, I like this question. Um, I love Kendall Jenner, Hailey Bieber, both their styles. I pull a lot of inspiration from high fashion brands as well as street fashions. I love Jackie Muse. I love um, Balenciaga. I used to love Balenciaga. I feel like I'm straying away from them a little bit. And then just like Pinterest and just seeing what other people are wearing. That's kind of where I pull it from. How would you describe your style? Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know because like my style is all over the place, but definitely more of like a streetwear, street style mixed with comfy because like I love streetwear, street style, but more of the like chicness of streetwear, street style, not like the super like I like baggy but not super baggy like sometimes you think of street style and you think very like tomboy for girls um but I like street style that's more chic but at the same time like I'm not a girly girl I've <laughs> I've decided and I feel most confident when I'm wearing like pants and sneakers or some sort of like chunky boot or even like a chic heel if it isn't too girly but like nothing too girly like I've decided I don't like like I don't like like little like pink and like super bright colored skirts I'm very neutral I like neutrals I'll play with like a bright color every so often but I feel like I don't feel my most self in that I feel myself the most when I'm wearing like jeans and a little crop top with like an overshirt like a blazer or just an um a white overshirt or a crew neck and like biker shorts um so like very basic I want to say but like elevated basics okay I'm gonna answer one more question and um we're gonna answer this question because I feel like I get it a lot as well is how did you and your boyfriend meet so Alan and I actually grew up together we went to school together he transferred to my elementary school in grade four so I've known him since grade four we started going out end of grade 8 beginning of grade 9 so that's kind of how we met was just in school but I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'm gonna end it off here I will do a full Q&A video in the future so if you have any questions for me hold on to them um, I'm not sure when the Q&A video will be but lots of people have been asking me to do a full Q&A video so I definitely will plan to do one at some point in the future soon but I love you all so much I hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you again to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video but I love you all so much and I will see you in the next one bye Cause even though it hurts, it hurts so good